So how's it guys? Um, we're here at the second place. We're here with Megan and her, and her boyfriend. And if you can see behind there, there's very kindly or luckily, and you know, from a grace perspective, her house, her mom's house is actually saved. So at the moment, basically, uh, it's your brother, you said that? Right? Your brother's staying on that yeah. side. So your brother's staying on the one side of the house, and her mom and her boyfriend and her daughter and her mother are staying on the other side of the house. The tragedy was they actually were building a house and they had bought all the equipment to build a house and it was sitting here behind us so we've got some of the roof panels some of the aluminium uh, doors and windows are in that shed there but everything else was wood and uh has gone <laughs> and um and i mean here we've actually got the, the plans and everything else it was actually a property that was from from plet that they bought and dismantled and then brought here and um, really what they're looking for is the most important thing is to have their own space. So if you've ever lived with your father-in-law or mother-in-law, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> it's probably a lot worse than any, <laughs> anything else on the planet. So, uh, you know, that what they're really looking to do. And I think, would you mind just explaining a little bit around your ideas of what you were talking about, particularly with the wooden house where you can build it, start and keep going basically, yeah, well, so you can get that space. Basically what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to build a wooden cottage again um, because it's a, a cheap and easy way of doing it and we can basically start with the foundation which is a big enough space for us to occupy immediately and then at a later stage we can always possibly build onto that house uh, another bedroom for my daughter and so on and so forth but at the moment just the immediate concern we is just away from the, the, the parents and the mother-in-law and to have our own space i mean we're looking at uh, from a costing perspective to to build that to have a, a proper usable structure and, and you know at least have a, a core that you can build from would be around 50 to 60 thousand uh, rand uh, to build that that structure basically uh, just from their perspective as well they lost their whole shed which uh, had all the farming equipment in it they also had a paintball business uh, they lost the trees and the paintball business and um and luckily the the good news is that it's a it's a working farm and none of the animals were, were hurt which is also awesome so i'm not sure from from your perspective if there's anything else that is relevant in terms of just from people's perspective but i mean that's you know from from what i understand is really the the, the, the nuts and bolts yeah, basically, like I said earlier, we are the fortunate few that weren't as badly affected as a lot of the, the neighbors around us. Um, the biggest loss to us was just the, the house that we we basically were hoping to move into quite soon, which got burnt down. So that is just our main concern at the moment. Other than that, we are moving forward and keeping strong. Awesome. Well, listen, uh, thanks very much for your time. and. Uh, for Etienne, hopefully I can uh, get him out of his mother-in-law's house as soon as possible because <laughs> I know what that would be like for me. Cheers. Thank you.